chapter, or sorry, unit one, section five, part one. We're going to break this up into two different pieces. Angle relationships. All right, so let's look at this little bell work here. Um, just to review things, let me grab my pen correctly there. A straight angle measures 180 degrees. A right angle measures 90 degrees. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees, but greater than zero degrees. An obtuse angle measures greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Because once you hit 180, you're back to straight. Uh, I will be able to identify and use, separate those words a little bit. Angle relationships. That's what we're going to be able to do. All right, here we go. A little thought bubble area of angle relationships. Okay, vertical angle. Let's start at the top. We'll work our way around it clockwise. We've already discussed this in our definitions uh, video that we did, but two angles across from each other on intersecting lines. They're always congruent. So example, we have intersecting lines here. Okay, we can number our angles one, two, three, four. That's just the way they did it, so I would have done it in a circle, but whatever. But that means that angle one is congruent to angle two because if they're across from each other, they're congruent. And angle three is gonna be congruent to angle four because if they're across from each other, I'll put two marks on that one, then they're congruent. A linear pair forms a line. Sometimes I like to say it as a linear pair. Two angles that are adjacent, touching, and supplementary, add the 180, they form a straight line, a linear pair. So for example, we've got a line here and a line coming off, angle one and angle two. Angle one, Let's see, make my ones more distinct. Plus angle two equals 180 degrees. It really should be the measure. If angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. Supplementary angles, two angles whose sum is 180. Okay. A linear pair is supplementary, and if they are supplementary and adjacent, then they're a linear pair. So Supplementary angles, two angles whose sum is 180. We could have something like this, where we've got 135 degrees and 45 degrees, okay? Or we could do something like this, where we could say this angle is 120 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees. As long as they add together and make 180, they're supplementary. They don't have to be touching. To be a linear pair, they have to be touching. Complementary angles, two angles whose sum is 90. So we might see something like this. We got angle one and angle two, and it has the box in it. So angle one, measure of angle one, plus the measure of angle two equals 90 degrees. That works. But you might also have something like 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So they could be touching and adjacent, or they could be uh, not touching. As long as their sum is 90, they're complementary to each other. Complementary, lower letter on the alphabet, smaller amount, 90. Supplementary, bigger letter on the alphabet, 180. And adjacent angles, two angles that are next to each other and share a common side. So, like this, angle one and angle two are adjacent. They have a common side. So that's our good terminology. Let's put it to use. Check all relationships between angle one and angle two. So in box one, we're looking at angle one and angle two. Are they adjacent? Well, no, they don't share a side. Are they vertical? Yes, they're on top of each other. Okay. Now vertical doesn't necessarily mean up and down like we think of Y is the vertical direction. Vertical in this sense, vertical angles just means that they are 
um, on opposite sides of intersecting lines. Okay, so you got to be careful there whenever you think about that. All right, let's check number two. Things that we know about angle one and angle two. Are they adjacent? Well, they do share this side, so I'm going to go yes. Are they vertical? No. Are they complementary? Do they add to 90? Well, let's see. We're not sure because we don't know what the angle measures are, but we do have this box here. If we have that box and we have a straight line, that means that this whole thing is 180 degrees. That says 98. That's not even close to what I want to This side's going to be 180 degrees. This is 90. So the other side has to also be 90. So the two of them together, yes, add to 90 degrees. Are they a linear pair? No, they're not. Because they are not supplementary and adjacent. We've got the adjacent part, but they're only complementary, not supplementary. Number three and number four. Go ahead and try three and four. Give it a pause and come back and see what the answers are. Okay, are they adjacent? Well, they share this side, so yes. Are they vertical? No. Um, over here would be vertical to one, and over here would be vertical to two. So we are not vertical. Are they complementary? Do they add to 90? Um, well, I can't really tell. But are they supplementary? Add to 180. Well, a straight line is 180, and that straight line is made out of angle one and angle two, so yes. And since they're adjacent and supplementary, they're a linear pair. Number four. Are they adjacent? Well, they share a side, so yes. Are they vertical? No. Are they complementary? We don't know. We don't have a box on the other side to know if they are 90 or a box in between them to know if they're 90, so we don't know. It doesn't form a straight line, so they're not supplementary, and if they're not supplementary, they can't be a linear pair, so it's just adjacent. Now, looking at angle 5 and angle 6, or number box 5 and box 6, go ahead and give box 5 and box 6 a try, pause, and then come back and let's see what happens. All right, let's look. Angle one and angle two, do they share a side? Well, here's angle two's sides. Here's angle one's sides. They don't share a side, so they're not adjacent. Are they vertical? Well, they are across each other from two intersecting lines. So actually, yes, they are vertical. Are they complementary? Well, let's see. We gotta do some deduction here. We know that this one's 90, because it's vertical. If that's 90, then this is 90. That means that 90. And those little marks means that those are the same. So that means that 2 is the same as number 1. And it means that when you add them together, you're going to get 90. So they're complementary. Yes, because they make 90 degrees. They're both 45, in fact. They're not supplementary if they're complementary, which means they're not a linear pair because you have to be supplementary to be a linear pair. Now let's look at number six. Are they adjacent? No, they are not. They are vertical. Are they complementary? Well, they have to add to 90. Well, we know that one is a 90, and we know that two is a 90 because they form linear pairs with the other side, so they're not complementary. They're each 90. If they both add to 90, then they're supplementary. But they're not sharing a side. They're not adjacent, so they're not a linear pair. So we can use all of these relationships and the way that these angles work together in order to kind of work our way around the angles and figure out what they're worth. Like on five, I know that angle one is 45 degrees because it's made out of 90 and this is a bisector. It's cutting it in half. Half of 90 is 45. And I know that two is 45 because they're congruent, because they're vertical. And congruent means the same number. And so I can work my way around the whole angle. Now, Let's put that to use. Find the missing measures in each figure. Keep the angle relationships in mind. Okay, well, number one, two intersecting lines. We should be thinking verticals, top and bottoms, left and right. So if that's 112, this is 112. Vertical angles are congruent. Number two, we know the box means 90, and this are adjacent angles, so they have to. Part plus part makes whole. So 68 plus x equals 90. Minus 68, x equals, let's see, borrow there, leave me an 8, 10, 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, so x is 22 degrees. You can plug a little 22 in there. Okay. 
try three and four and five. Let's come back and see what you get. All right, looking at number three, I got a straight line, which is 180. And they're adjacent. So they're supplementary and adjacent makes them a linear pair. So they should add part plus part makes whole. So 124 plus x equals 180. So subtract 124, right? Let's see. Borrow there makes 7, 10, 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. So it's got to be 56 degrees. On 4. Okay, well, we got three of them to find. What I'm easy. These form vertical angles. So this one and that one have to be the same. And this one and that one have to be the same. So that makes U43. There's a little Y. Now Z, there's a straight line forming here, or X, straight line forming there, have to be linear pairs of those. So that means 180 minus 43. Borrow there. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. And that's a 1, so that's 137. And since they're vertical, this also has to be 137. That vertical thing makes it nice and easy sometimes to flip up on these and get the right piece. For instance, we know these are vertical, so that makes that 72. That means that X has to be supplemental to that, so let's take 180 and subtract 72. Uh, makes 8, 0, 1. So that's 108 degrees. Now, what's hard is the Z, but I know that 90 of this angle goes there, and the other part has to be 108 total. So let's do 108 minus 90. 8 minus 0 is 8. 10 minus 9 is 1. So that's 18 degrees. Okay. I'll do 6 and 7 with you, and then you can try 8 and 9 and do a pause and come back. So let's look at six and seven. Angle one and angle two are vertical angles. When in doubt, draw a picture of it. If the measure of angle two is 105 degrees, then find the measure of angle one. Well, if they're vertical, they're the same. So that means angle one is equal to 105 degrees. Vertical means they're congruent. A and B are complementary. That's the 90. Okay. So that means that A and B have to add to 90. If the measure of angle A is 42, find the measure of angle B. So angle A is 42 degrees plus measure of angle B equals 90. So subtract 42. So angle B has to be, let's see, borrow, cheat, and steal. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. 48 degrees. All right. Give it a pause, try eight and nine, come back. Let's see how you did. Number eight, P and Q are supplementary. That's the 180 one. If the measure of angle Q is 64, find the measure of angle P. Well, we know they add to that, so we're gonna have to subtract. So I could just say angle P equals 180 minus 64. So measure of angle P is equal to, uh -huh, more of a vertical, sorry, go away. More of a vertical kind of person here. Let's see, borrow, cheat, and steal. 10 minus four is six. Seven minus six is one. The care one carries down 116 degrees. And it has to be more than 64 for sure because we got to get up to 180. Angle one, A, two, form a linear pair. When in doubt, draw a picture of it. That means that they add to 180 and they are adjacent. Angle one, angle two. If angle 1 is 113 degrees, find angle 2. Well, the measure of angle 2 equals 180 minus 113. I don't know why I'm writing so horribly, but measure of angle 2 equals, let's see, borrow, cheat, and steal. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 minus 1 is that. 67 degrees. Okay? Just like that. So that's using angle relationships and finding angle measures with them. It's just a little bit of algebra. No big algebra with variables yet, but that's...